Hello from me, Peter Brackley. We're on the road to Germany in 2006 as England face the first of two World Cup qualifiers in five days. First up then at Old Trafford, Northern Ireland are the Group 6 opponents for Senor and Ericsson's England team on this rather cold afternoon in Manchester. Well, let's take a check on the teams. England first in their new Umbro kit. And the only real decision for Ericsson to make concern the midfield. David Beckham, Stephen Gerrard and Frank Lampard were all certainties. And the coach has also given the informed Chelsea man Joe Cole his first competitive start. Sol Campbell's injury means John Terry partners Rio Ferdinand at the back. Paul Robinson keeps his place in goal. And up front, well, as expected, Wayne Rooney and Michael Owen are offered first crack at the Irish defence. Northern Ireland's plans have been hit by absentees. They'd already lost Michael Hughes and James Quinn through suspension. And now fullbacks Mark Clyde and George McCartney have both had to pull out as well injured. Keith Gillespie will be back on familiar ground, of course, as a former Manchester United player. And they also have the likes of Premiership regulars Damian Johnson, Aaron Hughes, the captain, and goalkeeper Mike Taylor. England, of course, hoping for the right result but also to put on the kind of show that will support the view, and it is the coach's view, certainly, that England can indeed be serious contenders at next year's World Cup Finals Jamboree. First things first, and Northern Ireland, managed by a man who, of course, has made his reputation on success as an underdog, as an FA Cup winner for Wimbledon back in 1988. Remember that against Liverpool, he got the winning goal, Roy Satchers. And they are promising to make this encounter as awkward for England as they possibly can. Sanchez was also in charge of the Wickham Wanderers side that got to a cup semi-final a few seasons back before losing to Liverpool. Rio Ferdinand alongside John Terry then in the heart of that England back line. Since Portugal, England's progress hasn't always been too convincing. Certainly not in the friendly games. But it came to the crunch, they won World Cup qualifiers with Poland, Wales and Azerbaijan and earned a 2-2 draw with Austria in Vienna. Ferdinand, of course, missed out on the European Championship finals because of his lengthy suspension. John Terry, simply outstanding for Chelsea this season. Here's Rooney. They have license to drop deep. And then link up with Owen in the attack. So many options open to England when they do cut forward. So much flair in this team. But can they produce it this afternoon? And see off the Irish challenge. Terry advancing. First test for Aaron Hughes back there. He's been very much a regular for Newcastle this season in the Premiership. Wearing the captain's armband for Northern Ireland today. Tony Capaldi on the left of the back line. Plays his club football for Plymouth Argyle. And that is now the English Championship. We'll flick on then from Frank Lampard. That was Terry. Now Ashley Cole. How distracted has he been in the build-up, I wonder, with all the fuss over the alleged tapping up by Chelsea. Up comes Terry. Very strong here early on. Owen, and then Joe Cole with a strike on goal. Well, he's been in dazzling form, Joe Cole, for Chelsea. Really has flourished under Jose Mourinho. We have, he says, nothing to lose the Irish manager and we'll give it our best shot so far so good with almost 17 minutes gone Ferdinand with his beard stretching goes Doherty and now this is promising for England Michael Owen a great first touch not quite good enough though with the second Smothering save by Mike Taylor. It's a wonderful link-up play then by England. That pass, pass. Taken so neatly in his stride by Owen, but he can't beat Taylor. England's first real chance so far. And it's fallen to Michael Owen. 
two schools of thought really about Owen and the fact that he doesn't play too often for Real not from the start anyway some feel he may be short of match practice but of course he's fresh that's the advantage that's the upside of it Rooney maybe thought then that Cole was behind him it's Jeff Whitley in fact Sunderland midfielder Beckham now Stephen Gerrard this is Cole now Lampard trying to spread the play and bring in Beckham here just showed too much of it to Tony Capaldi who knows he's got his hands full with Beckham George McCartney, I'm sure, would have played at left back, but he had to pull out of the score through injury this week. Cole. Then Joe Cole. And it's broken here for Whitley. And they had a chance of a break then, but not taken. Gerard. Down on the sidelines, Lloyd Sanchez has been getting very animated. He's had a bit of a row with a fourth official, I'm hearing. And he's been given a last warning. So early on as well. Here's Neville to swing it over. Rooney's header off the post and cleared away by Chris Baird. Terrific glancing header then by Rooney. And so nearly an England breakthrough. Ashley Cole to Joe Cole. England seizing the initiative now. Gerard with Neville. Here's Owen. Is he toppled then? The German referee says no. Capaldi. Asking a lot of Healy. There's simply no way past Rio Ferdinand. Rooney so unlucky though at the other end. Some way out there, but real power behind it. Don't think Taylor got his fingertips to that. Rescued by the upright. Here's Rio Ferdinand. It's being played out in front of just over 65,000 at the Theatre of Dreams. So far, so good for the Irish. They would settle with this right now. Rooney. Although having said that, they really need to win the game to a standard chance. It's Joe Cole, and now they're behind. It's a cracking start to the second half for England. Cole, who played really well in that first 45 minutes, he really is coming of age now. And he's underlined his vast improvement this season by giving England the lead. Held it just beyond Mike Taylor, right into the corner. The second half barely underway, and Joe Cole strikes. Sven and Eggson, I'm sure I had to think long and hard this week about whether to play Cole or where to play Cole. And he's got this free roll, and he has really created some damage now. Capaldi and Co were in trouble back there. Cole has capitalised on it. Whitley. I was just saying about the Irish, really, to keep any hopes alive of making that runners up spot, they have to win this game. Well, now they have to come from behind. Oh, it. Rooney. Looking to spring them open again with his instinctive passing. Joe Cole's third England goal. And this on his first competitive start. He's in full flow again here now. And he's really buzzing. Ericsson's been saying this week he looks stronger. He has more stamina now, Joe Cole, than maybe a year ago. 
Sanchez's team were stunned in. And it's given England the flyer they hoped for in this second 45 minutes. Joe Cole hoping now he has arrived in the international arena. Plenty of appearances in the past, but mainly as a sub. Now he's in on merit, in from the start, and on the score sheet too. Relief around Old Trafford among the England fans. Beckham. Lampard to Gerrard. Now Rooney, Gerrard, was neatly played too. He almost got Gary Neville in there. Rooney, such a clever touch, look at this. Great stuff from Rooney, fouled in the end. Such skill, such strength. And the yellow card for Damian Johnson. Totally deceived Jeff Whitley then. It was Doherty and then Johnson. I thought there was too much wrong with that. And there's a the confirmation. First booking of the game for Damian Johnson. Tirelessly, Johnson will in fact miss the next game because he'd already had a yellow card. Coming into this one, he won't feature against the Poles in midweek. Got a tough trip coming up there, Northern Ireland. As if this one isn't hard enough, they've really got some grafting to do now. Gary Neville to slip it on for Gerard. Oh, great little ball then for Owen. supporters here will be hoping that England can turn on the style now now that at last they are in front that might just coax the Irish out a little I wouldn't be too sure about that here's Beckham looking to float this one over towards Lampard that was Hughes alongside out comes Johnson made that by Capaldi Neville. That Joe Cole to Ashley Cole. Here's Owen. That Rooney. His talent has illuminated his game from time to time. Gary Neville. Keen to get forward again. Not quite service. Michael Owen, though. Only Healy up front, pretty isolated again. Terry. Dispossessed him rather easily. Now Lampard's on a run. Surging first two from Lampard. Played in for Rooney. Lampard again. And Owen. It's two. And now England are flying. Maybe whatever he said at half time did the trick. The Irish so hard to perforate in that first half, but now. They've been broken open twice in this early phase of the second half. So much to admire here. The link up between Lampard and Rooney and then Michael Owen, ever the predator, to stab it home. Goal number 29 in an England jersey for him. Really incisive play by Lampard. And Owen in on the finish. Short now of Alan Shearer's tally for England. Michael Owen. Two goals in seven minutes at the start of the second half. Beckham. This will examine the Irish character now. Gary Noble. On to Rooney. Rooney 
headlines by the Manchester United fans at Old Trafford. And a price for England as well. Still Rooney. It's another one. It's Owen again. And suddenly, suddenly, the Irish are in disarray. They defended so stubbornly in the first half. Heroics from Mike Taylor. But now, they have capitulated. And that draws him level then with Alan Shearer on 30 goals for England. And it owes so much here to the persistence and again the sheer strength and tenacity of Wayne Rooney. And he still had the presence of mind there to just tee it up for Owen. Good young player, this fellow. Here's Gillespie. Boy, could the Irish do with some magic from him. The former Manchester United winger. He's actually been playing well at Leicester under Craig Levine, their new manager. He has flourished this season. Back in the fold for the Irish. Trying to get Capaldi away here. But Ferdinand read that situation pretty well. Gary Neville to Rio Ferdinand. An hour gone. And England now very much in command. Rooney deemed to be the miscreant there. Hard to see though for the Irish where a goal is going to come from. In a very, very lengthy drought, the longest in European football a while back. Nearly 1,300 minutes for David Healy management. Poofed away by John Terry for England. Here's Whitley. Couldn't cash out Owen though. And Beckham's on his way now. England sensing more blood. Rooney is in the middle. Almost made a connection to him. Would have done so. Up the alertness of Aaron Hughes. Dangerous ball whipped in then by Beckham. Well, the Irish haven't been at a corner yet. They've got another one to face here. Face the threat of Ferdinand and Terry. And Rooney in there. And his Lampard. Trying to tee it up for Stephen Gerrard. Now Joe Cole. This is Lampard. Does hit a ball so well from distance. So does Beckham, of course. Cole. Tusting there with Damien Johnson, but completely outwitting him. Lovely stuff from Cole. This is Lampard. Letting try to flick it in. It's another one for England. Lampard will want this one. It clearly took a deflection on the way. Leaving Mike Taylor in more distress, more discomfort. It came off Murdoch's head. And he was completely rock-footed, the goalkeeper. We might need the fourth official again to rule on that one. I'm sure Mike Taylor will tell you he'd have saved that. It seemed to be heading straight at him, but it glanced off the head of Murdoch. they have been looking forward to so eagerly the Irish half time there must have been cock a hoop but now it's all turned sour this is Hargreaves some news reaching me too of the game uh, in Cardiff Wales are losing to Austria in this same qualifying group. 1-0 down. No shocks here. That's Lampard. Now Defoe on to Joe Cole. In many ways, England's tormentor in chief. Cole again. Looking for a second. And still. Sent to time added on. I don't think there'll be too much of that. This is Gary Neville. The 
the Irish will be happy now just to seek the sanctuary of the dressing room. Gary Neville. Lampard. There will be one more minute on the end of the 90. And they've kept singing, all credit to them. Determined to enjoy the day, whatever the outcome. Challenged header for England. And certainly their authority was challenged in the first half by that resolute Irish defending. Not to mention some top class keeping from Mike Taylor. Once they got in front, England just haven't looked back from there. Not a crunching challenge, but well timed from John Terry. Absolute Goliath back there for England today. Dyer, now Owen. We're at Irish throats again with Jermaine Defoe. Murdoch's challenge came in the nick of time. And that should, by uh, my clock, be time. We've had now that extra minute. Dyer. This is Hargreaves. Gary Neville, maybe thought about the shot there for a moment. In the end, it's too close to Taylor. And surely that is it now, the last of the action here. Ferdinand just coolly nudging it back. Or rather, uh, Ashley Cole, I should say. In Ferdinand's position for a moment. It's all over now. And England have taken a very positive step now towards the World Cup finals in Germany next year. In the end, a comprehensive win for Sven Joran Eriksson's team. Joe Cole with the first, that was the breakthrough. They really just settled from there. Owen getting number two. He thought he got number three. But in fact, it was an own goal off Chris Baird. And then, well, it was a deflection of Murdoch. But it's Frank Lampard's goal. And it's a super win for England. Big disappointment for Northern Ireland, who really gave it their best shot in the first half. But in the end, it was class that told, and England had that in abundance. They have enhanced their position at the top of this group with a 4-0 win over Northern Ireland at Old Trafford. England took a big step towards qualification with this result, and not even a shock 1-0 defeat against Northern Ireland in the return fixture could stop them making it to Germany 2006. Sven Joran Eriksson's spell in charge of the English team would end in a quarter-final exit to Portugal. <laughs>